Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Gemini. Let's see what we have for you. This is the Sacred Traveller Oracle deck. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Week ahead for Gemini. Fogged in. Go slow, take time. Probably not a time to rush. You might have lack of clarity in terms of where things are going. Let's see what we have for you. Let's pull an angel message. What do we have for Gemini? Message for Gemini for the week ahead. Thank you. This is your angel message, Hope. Number nine, Archangel Fanuel is granting you the faith and strength you need during this time. So there's hope here. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Angel Spirits Guides message for Gemini. Message for Gemini for the week ahead. What does Gemini need to hear? Thank you. Page of Swords. With that, we've got the Nine of Swords. Five of Wands. The Moon. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Orchestration, we've got the Five of Swords here, and we have the Four of Cups. Let's pull a card for the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. What do we have for Gemini, Angel Spirits Guides? It looks like there's conflict about an ending or maybe how something's going to end. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Gemini, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords? We've just been told move forward in faith here. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, yeah. The, the energy um, is Gemini. Um, the, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, news coming in... Um, Again, learning something, hearing something. I think it's to do with uh, you're going through some kind of stressful period. It could well be um, a news or a conversation or information coming in where you, you're not sure what to do and you're taking stock and evaluating in terms of likely whether to continue going, c continue on the path that you're going to continue on or whether to end something. And it feels like that's all down to whether you accept something or not. And it feels like an offer of some kind. Um, so the energy here is is there's news coming in and there's a lot of uh, stress, uncertainty. Cards can't see the wood for the trees or you're going through some kind of stressful time and you're just thinking, do I just accept this and end it or do I continue battling on? And that's what's at play here, because the Ten of Swords is, is a painful ending. It's an experience when we feel stabbed in the back, betrayed, deeply wounded, deeply hurt. Or you've been going through a process that's just been very painful. It can also be linked with health issues as well, but it can be uh, endings 
of, of some kind of, of uh, difficult process that you've been going through. But I think this is linked to some monetary offer. Could be a payout or a settlement or uh, an offer of some kind uh, if it's division of assets. I mean, the same energy applies. I think that there has been some kind of conflict and you need to decide whether this conflict is over or not. There's an offer that's been extended to you here. Now, Spirit is helping you here. Spirit is helping you, likely through your intui intuition, to bring you good luck, good fortune. It can translate in money. So, I mean, this feels like, uh, again, you, you might even feel obstacles are being removed if you've been battling on. You might be feeling that you're getting somewhere. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel there's a likelihood here in terms of whether some whether some news has come in, but you're unsure in terms of whether to take what that news is bringing you. You might be deciding to just keep on battling on until you get to where you want to be. And there is that sense here of, of surrendering and trusting uh, that spirit is, is actually has your back. I mean, this is spirit has your back, hidden blessings. Trust your intuition and you're not going to trust, trust wrongly. So however this is planning out for you here, there is something to take stock of and evaluate in terms of whether you continue battling on, pushing for some kind of offer, could be bettering an offer in some way for some of you, or whether you accept an offer that's been extended to you and that will be the end of what has been a painful process. Or bring, yeah, again, bring some kind of painful experience to an end. It can also be you've been battling because something ended and it was painful and you felt stabbed in the back and betrayed and you were standing up for yourself to get the right kind of payout or deal. Same energy applies. This, this feels like you're deciding in terms of whether to accept an offer and then that will be the end of this. Is the same energy here. That wheel of fortune, that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings. And spirit is working through this situation to bring you hidden blessings. But I feel that you have to surrender and trust your instincts and your intuition here. Because... The Four of Cups is someone reaching out, offering you something here, Gemini. So there is an offer. And the Six of Pentacles is also someone reaching out, offering you something. And it could, and it feels more balanced. It feels more fair. And again, the Five of Swords is a hard-won victory. So I definitely feel here that if you trust your intuition... There is a sense here of battling on something, even though there's a level of stress and worry and anxiety here. I think that there is definitely some kind of offer coming into you that you consider now uh, a hard-won victory. Again, with the Four of Cups, you have to consider whether you accept this offer or not. Is it everything that you want? Is it a breadcrumb offer? Or do you want to keep battling on? I mean, these energies are at play here. The key thing that's governing this is you need to trust your instinct and your intuition. We always know when we go against our intuition. We just know. We feel that we're, we're going against something. We're, we're, it's wrong, you know. We feel innate that innate feeling that uh, I, I really feel I need to do this, but I don't know, you know. So this can be that kind of energy here where you just have to surrender and trust your instincts and your intuition. But... In terms of whether what you're being offered is what you want, is what you consider a victory, and that's the end of it, or whether you continue battling on. I mean, we are talking about a week. The Seven of Pentacles is take stock and evaluate, you know, which really is that sense of, is it enough what I've been offered? Is it a fair offer? Or do I want to continue on the path that I'm on and keep on battling on? But there's news that's governing this, news, information coming in, but Spirit is telling you there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic. Um, even though you can't see everything that's going on right now, there's that sense here of you're going to, it looks like you're, you have enough, you're, you're being given hidden blessings in some way. So let's see, let's, um, What's coming for Gemini? How is this going to conclude for Gemini? See if we can find out, if Spirit will allow us to find out.
What's coming for Gemini, Angel Spirits Guides? Okay, so we have the, the Devil. And the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's an offer. The, the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles uh, is an offer. I mean, this feels like, again, it's something that has been... This is, I mean, that's what these energies mean as well. The Devil and the Knight of Pentacles means something that has been exceptionally stressful and difficult and it's all you could think about has dominated your life for a period of time and is likely there have been a huge focal point in your life as well, an intense focal point here. It looks like there's going to, that's going to result in some kind of offer, bottom of the deck, the, the temperance card is fair. It, it's that sense of fairness. The, the temperance card is balance. I think this has likely dominated your life. Whatever this experience is, it's dominated your life for a period of time. It's all you could think about. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. The Six of Swords... Soon the worst is going to be over and you're going to move on from this, detach from this situation, move it behind you. Because the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to get what you want. The Ten of Pentacles is 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 material success, abundance, goal achievement. It can be inheritance. It can be a, lot, a significant sum of money. Um, in money terms, this is you're going to get the offer that you're wanting. And you're going to move on from this and, and move on to better times. You know, this is the energy here. I think that you know that you're you're heading in the right direction and that there is victory on this path, but you need to consider what offer you accept and what you don't accept here, Gemini. And don't accept, don't settle for less than you deserve because Spirit is telling you that you have an opportunity to get everything that you want here in terms of money, career, finances. It's not about kind of like, uh, I don't think this is about... Uh, wanting more than you deserve either you know it's not a sense of greed or anything in this energy it just feels like um this is about getting everything that you feel like a fair offer a balanced offer that's fair for everybody involved for what happened versus what you need to to get the offer the offer for you know whether it's division of assets in a relationship if it was divorce whether it was family money, inheritance, or a sum of money, um, whether it was to do with a payout or settlement, the same energy applies. Uh, and it does feel here, Gemini, that you know you're, the worst is going to be behind you and you're moving on to better times. There's hope here, but there is also an opportunity to get everything that you want in terms of money and abundance. So that's available to you. It just feels a very intense energy. All right. You could also be dealing with another party who is greedy, who is wanting uh, to keep more than they want, have to, should give. That would be in, unequal, unfair, you know, and this is about balancing that out in terms of, uh, yeah, what's fair and, and what's imbalanced in that respect. We have Owl Magic. This is your message from Spirit. Um, this is a Spirit Animal deck. So we have Owl Magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Well, they are for you, Gemini, because the magician, Mercury, is, is your planet. Gemini, that's what I have for you for... Yeah, and, and just to clarify that, I just want to say here, Gemini, that, you know, the, ma the magician is Mercury in the, in the tarot. That's why I'm saying this is so much in line with your energy, the magic card. You can manifest what you wish. It's just whether you accept, don't accept less than you deserve. That's what I want to say. 
Gemini, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.